Hi everybody, it's Miss Melinda here, your spiritual worker from MissMelindasMetaphysicalServices.com. And I wanted to do a part two video on spirituality in everyday life. This was um, originally a video for somebody who had a question they were a new mother and wanted to know about how to implement spiritual practice into their life when they are very, very busy and hardly have a moment alone to themselves. So I have thought of some more ways to do that that I would like to share with you. And I have some notes, as usual, that I'm going to refer to. So the first thing that I wanted to share with you was um, using essential oils. I do always have to say be careful with essential oils. Um, they have been used improperly a lot in our culture. Um, so always uh, try to know a little bit about how those oils might interact with um, your health how they might interact with your skin and make sure that you're being safe with essential oils. Um, however, what I would recommend is using essential oils in an oil diffuser. So this is a great way to have an effect on your environment, have an effect on your mood, on, on your mental state through doing very little except adding oil and water to an oil diffuser and lighting a candle. They also make those um, electric oil diffusers now where you just put the oil on a little cotton pad and plug the diffuser into the wall. So either one works pretty well. I do find that the electric ones have to be, um, you have to add oil to them much more frequently so they are a little bit more high maintenance. Um, so some examples of oils that may be useful in your environment. Um, orange oil is very uplifting. It brings you energy. It brings you clarity of mind. Um, peppermint oil, very uplifting. Also good for money, good for prosperity. Um, also good for mental clarity, for energy. Um, lemon would be good for love. It would also be good for uplifting your spirits, um, clearing out depression, bringing uh, basically good vibes, that sort of thing. Um, so those are some basic essential oils. And then using spiritual oils or essential oils in body lotion. Again, be careful about which oils you put on your skin. You want to make sure they're safe. Um, you want to make sure you're not going to have any health interactions. However, using spiritual oils in your body lotion is a great way to put some intent into your hygiene practice. Um, and you want to pick the oil that corresponds with the, the, um, what you're trying to manifest in your life or what your goal is. Perhaps you could use an oil for spiritual connection. Um, when you are, when you want to clear something out of your life, you would apply the lotion downwards towards your feet, out and away from you. When you want to bring something into your life, you would apply the lotion with the oil in it upwards towards your head. And of course, while you're doing this, you want to focus on what your goal is, what your intent is, what you're bringing into or out of your life. So that's a great way to add some spiritual practice into your hygiene practice. Most people use lotions. Um, here's one. Keep a candle in some major areas of your home. For instance, keep a candle by your kitchen sink and every time that you go to do the dishes, you will want to light that candle and spend some time focusing on the candle while you're doing your dishes. So basically keep a candle in the areas where you're going to be doing, doing your daily activities and keep a lighter or some matches next to that candle. And each time you go to do your daily activities, you are lighting your candle and you're thinking about your intentions, you're thinking about your goals, you're focusing on that flame and continue to think about those things while you're doing that activity that you have to do anyway, right? So you're doing, you're implementing spirituality into your daily practices. Um, uh, other places that would be good to keep that candle would be on the nightstand next to your bed or on the dresser next to your mirror so that you're thinking about things when you're getting dressed in the morning, you're thinking about what you want that day to be like, what you want to bring into your life that day, etc. Um, you can even talk out loud to that candle or say your prayers out loud while you have that candle lit and while you're going about your daily activities. Um, 
You don't have to be completely still while you're focusing on your prayers or while you're focusing on manifesting your intentions. In fact, it can be a great exercise for your mind to stay focused on those things while you are also active. Um, that's, that's a great way to create more um, concentration, more focus, more strength of intent for yourself. Okay, um, let's see. Other places to keep that candle. In the bathroom, by the bathroom sink. In the kitchen, by the stove, so that you light it when you are cooking. Um, maybe in the baby's room, next to the rocker that you use when you're doing the when you're breastfeeding. You can light that candle while you're doing that. Think about the strength that you need. Think about the the um, the qualities of motherhood that you want to bring into your life. Think about the stamina and strength and courage that you want to have to be the kind of mother that you are going to be, to be the kind of woman that you want to be in the world. Okay. Um, let's see. Ooh, pre-scented lotions are a great way to add some spiritual intent into your hygiene product. If you don't want to take the extra step of adding those essential oils or adding those spiritual oils to your beauty products, then buy the kind of the lotion that's already scented with a scent that corresponds to your goal. Um, I love sandalwood lotion, for instance. There are some great ones out there. Um, Dr. Bronner's makes some really great products um, that have really good ingredients, really pure natural ingredients with really good high quality scent in them. Like they have a lavender, they have a peppermint. Um, peppermint's good for purification, it's good for money, it can be used for protection. Lavender is good for love, it's good for peace, it's good for healing. So get a lotion that corresponds with your goals or desires and then you can even save some more time and skip that step of adding those scents or oils to your lotion. Um, let's see, hair brushing. So this is when I thought of while you're brushing your hair, if you have long hair, even if it's if you brush it at all, no matter what its length, you can think about the things that you want to get rid of, the things you want to rid your life of. As you're going down and away, you're getting rid of that thing. You're sending it away. You're getting it out of your head. You're getting it out of your life. You're brushing it away. All right, so that would be a good exercise for when you want to clear negative negativity, when you want to break old habits. Um, when you want to get rid of a particular energy in your life so that you can be free to start a new era. All right, and floor sweeping. I don't think I thought, talked about floor sweeping before. I believe I just talked about floor washes. So floor sweeping is a really great way to focus on your intentions while you're doing your housework. It's a really um, old school hoodoo technique. Um, I like to sweep from the front door out the back door. I see a lot of people recommending to do it the opposite way. Um, the technique that works for me is to sweep your bad luck out the back door or your old energy or whatever. You don't necessarily have bad luck. Um, and your new energy or your good luck in the front door. So you want to sweep from the front of the house or from the front door towards the back door. Sweep out that old energy and sweep in the new energy. And while you're doing this, think, think uh, intently about what you want to sweep into your life, what you want to sweep into your house, and what you are getting rid of. Um, you can even talk out loud. I find that really helpful. Talk about what you're bringing into your life and what you're getting rid of in your life while you're doing that. Tell the sweeping, tell the house what you want, what you need, and what you're doing. Um, and talk about it like it's already there. Talk about it like it's already happening. With with all of this, talk about it in the present tense like it's already there, it's already happening, you're already in that energy that you want to manifest. Um, another thing that you can do with your floor sweeping is you can uh, add an element of, um, of herbal magic or some kind of other natural curio to that. For instance, you could quickly Sprinkle around some um, black salt if you're trying to get rid of negativity or stagnancy in your life. If there's something that you need to um, break up and get rid of, 
put that black, sprinkle that black salt around your floor, leave it sit for two seconds, whatever, you know, just think about it absorbing that energy that you don't want and then sweep it right out the door. Um, be careful though, because salt can cure, kill plants. So if you're sweeping it outside, you don't want to sweep it um, necessarily into your, your yard. You want to be careful of that. Um, also using herbal blends to either bring in or get rid of what you want to bring in or get rid of. Um, there are some great herbal blends for prosperity, for love, for good luck. So sprinkle that stuff around, let it sit for a minute, tell it what your intentions are, and then sweep it up. Um, that's a great way to make your house sweeping into a spiritual activity, into an activity in which you can focus on manifesting your intentions. So. Thanks for watching. Um, feel free to share the videos, uh, like the videos, subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and leave me a comment. Feel free to contact me and let me know if you have a suggestion for a future video or if you have a question about anything that I've mentioned in this video. Thanks for watching and have a great evening.